here to our next panelist, who is John, who is the CEO and founder over at Sales Builder Pro. And he's going to walk us through a little bit about their in-home sales app, which is used by resident, residential HVAC contractors, as well as contractors in many other home services verticals, and can speak a little bit about using this type of software and the advantages it gives you when you're actually out in the field selling and preparing proposals. So John, I'll let you take it away. Great, thank you so much. I think a fundamental question is why would you want to invest in a sales app, particularly Sales Builder Pro? So I'm going to try to answer that question today. I think there's really two approaches to business. You can try to work harder, but at some point you really need to bring in automation. I think about that as maybe working smarter. Um, and uh, I don't, I'm not sure why I put a nail gun on this graphic, but it seemed like a real good productivity tool. I looked for statistics on how much more productive it was than a hammer, and I couldn't really find any good data. I am a data nerd. I did read that these are things are very dangerous, and I think that's a good analogy to software. When you automate something, it will go off. When you pull the trigger on a nail gun, it will go off, so make sure you're pointing it at the right point. But uh, we've done a lot of automation in our app, so if we go to the next slide, really trying to, trying to go from the kind of the 1960s, 70s, when people were doing triplicate carbonless forms to laptop computers to today's tablet apps, which are really kind of the wow factor in the in-home sales experience. I like this graphic because, oops, if you could go back one slide, it shows a finger pointing at the app. And that was one of our design criteria. We wanted to be able to make an entire HVAC proposal from start to finish with no typing. If you've ever seen me type, you'll know why that was a design goal, but you can literally with one finger go through the entire process, build an entire proposal. Now, sometimes you've got some adjustments to make, uh, but generally if it's a routine proposal, you can do it with just a finger touch and it's gonna be lightning fast. It's very impressive to do in front of a customer as well. So we really wanna to get to that wow factor because your customers are gonna gauge a contractor in minutes. So if you've got a modern tool, you look modern. And this is going to make you look modern because in fact, you'll be modern and far more automated. Next slide. So what we try to do is really eliminate the need for good handwriting. And if you could see my handwriting, you would also know why that's a design requirement. But there's a lot of configuration mistakes, uh, particularly for uh, complicated systems like ductless HVAC. So we work with partners like Mitsubishi Electric to build a, a goof-proof way to quote a, a multi-room ductless HVAC system so you can't make a mistake connecting the equipment together. We eliminate the math errors, particularly on pricing and discounts and rebates. Uh, of course, everything's paperless. That's a major benefit that follows this digital technology. And it really helps with the follow-up and uh, strips away a lot of time. I think most contractors tell us the time reduction in a, a normal uh, conventional HVAC system is reduced by about 80 to 90%. It's just so fast. So, and then obviously a big benefit from this is you're going to create a, um, on the right-hand side is a typical looking uh, Sales Builder Pro proposal. It will have a customized banner for each different uh, contractor, but it really gets away from the messy paperwork. It's much easier to change a digital proposal than something written by hand or even any kind of other digital proposal. So it's very quick to make changes and get that very professional look and feel to the proposal. You can email it to the customer or send it to them by a text message. At the end of this, I'll show some new uh, collateral that we've developed for contractors, which is a 10-step checklist for a sales process, really broken down in preparation for the sales call, the in-home sales call itself, and the follow-up process. And that's broken down into 10 steps in those three different phases. But the most important part of the first phase is to get the pricing right. You really want to be in the position where you can set your pricing and forget about it. So when you're in the home, when you add an option or an accessory or do a, something to the quote, it's going to quote it properly so you have the right amount of margin. So everything on that right-hand side is the uh, red, that's the cost, and the green is the margin. So this will preserve your margins, and it's kind of like going on autopilot for pricing. You're no longer inventing things on the spot. You're getting accurate numbers that can reflect the work and make sure your profits are preserved. 
So we also uh, do a lot of work to try to resolve the installation problems because it's no surprise once you sell something in HVAC, you need to install it. If it's in the middle of the winter, a hot summer day in Austin, they want it installed the next day immediately. So getting that estimate right uh, from the start is very important. So we try to eliminate part runs, um, callbacks where you go back because it, you thought it was finished, but there's extra work to be done and eliminate job rollovers. Those are all the things that really uh, explode your budget. Um, they really decrease employee morale. They piss off the customers. So really focus hard on those to give contractors tools to look at, at uh, those situations. And one of the newer technologies that's just really rolling out is the uh, risk management. So most databases keep a, a time and materials track. We also keep track of the risk for each job. So. Over time, it, it gets better and better in predicting the risk that a job's gonna roll to a second day. So then you can proactively schedule it or send in a uh, more experienced in install crew or maybe a third hand to help with a typical two day install or two person install process. We've also learned a lot uh, through uh, working with contractors over the past seven years and probably the most surprising point, maybe not to the Hearth team, but uh, when you simplify pricing, customers buy more. So kind of shown on the left is the uh, graphic or illustration of sticker shock and a, a typical HVAC system runs around $10,000. The average typical savings bank account for the American consumer is about $8,000. So when you're asking them to give you them, their life savings to turn their heat back on, uh, that's a problem, but if you can flip that to $134 a month, which is probably a, an accurate number, and with Hearth, eliminate the dealer fees to do that, it's a win-win for the contractor and the consumer. They can buy what they want, what they need, and when they need it. We've done a comparison between uh, two individual comfort consultants. This was about a year's worth of data. Uh, these two consultants were um, uh, working for a contractor where the leads were equally split between uh, consultant A and B. We wanted to keep these names anonymous, but one was offering finance, as you can see, at about 62% of the time. The other was 47. We have analytics on the app that allows us to pull that out. The average ticket price was about $500 more for the one who offered leasing more often. Uh, the win rate was up by about, uh, I guess that's 11%, and the annual sales were up by about, uh, looks like 300 thousand dollars and the and the bonus checks were up about 30 or 35 thousand so really a great illustration and with our analytics and with this knowledge the the owner could really go in and say to consultant number b you know you know a can do this why can't you do it and b's response was he didn't think his customers were asking for financing and generally people don't ask for financing and have to offer it so really a, a dramatic proof point to me that financing really matters and uh, we kind of joked about it later, how can we get B to perform like A? And these were both men. And I said, well, why don't you send A's commission check to the wife of B and maybe she'll correct the problem for you. And we laughed, but over time, they actually brought it close together. Today, if we run those statistics, they're quoting both at about 60, I'm sorry, about 70%. They both improved their quote because they see the enormous benefit it has to help the owner make more money and to bring home more money in terms of commissions. And I just want to talk about a little bit of our partnerships, and these are kind of market-leading endorsements from OEMs, distributors, and contractors. We work closely with a number of OEMs. We support all, all brands of equipment, but Mitsubishi Electric Train uh, actually features our application on their uh, website, and they talk about how it can be used. Uh, really, the speed advantage of this is typically in the past, it would take two trips, one trip to discover and document needs, and a second trip to uh, go back because you'd have to do a calculation on a laptop. So you'd have to go back to the office, do the, the design calculations and then come back to the customer's house. Since we built those design calculations into the app, it takes two trips down to one. And that's really important for discretionary spends such as a ductless system. The large number of distributors from coast to coast, the, the largest one is Ferguson. Um, they're the global leader as in terms of HVAC and plumbing distributors tell us this is a slightly old slide. I took this at a dealer meeting in 2019, which is probably the last dealer meeting I went to. I didn't think it was going to be a historical record, but uh, you can see on the right is their program booklet when they printed those, handed those out. So they offer Sales Builder Pro. Why do they do that? Uh, 
Ferguson has a lot of ways to spend their money, but they choose to spend it on Sales Builder Pro. They, they'll subsidize two thirds of the app. And why do they do that? They know people that use our app sell more and if contractors sell more, they distribute more product. And then in terms of contractors, we work with contractors from coast to coast. Uh, we work at the largest uh, Linux contractor in the Midwest. I believe they're the largest Linux contractor in the country. Um, and we did a study with them on 15,000 proposals. Uh, they have 25 sales reps, 350 trucks. So they are a mega contractor, been in business for a long time. We weren't sure we would change the game for them, but the results were pretty astounding. Win rate went up 13%, sales price up by 500 per win. They do uh, a lot of low end equipment around $6,000. So that was a big swing on the percent and the earnings per rep was around $300,000 per year per rep. So uh, pretty similar to the prior one and a lot of the same factors were in play, bringing financing in and then selling more accessories because an accessory might be $5 a month over a period of time, whereas upfront $500 is, is hard to pay for. We work with Michelson on the East Coast, they are the largest uh, carrier contractor on the East Coast. And uh, I went out for the first uh, Go around they did a pilot study of their first 10 users and i went around the room and i said let me just get feedback from all the comfort consultants in the room and the first one said well john getting this app was like getting a pay raise and i felt like meeting adjourned i should just stop the conversation but it was very rewarding and really helping you know young kids like this earn more money is a great feeling once i got sales builder pro it completely changed my business. It's the number one best thing I ever did for my business. So that's a pretty great testimonial that Bob Wade, the owner of Wade Heating and Cooling in Pennsylvania gave us. We got it on videotape, so I can now blackmail him for the rest of his life, but they are extremely well-run operation. They've been in business for 40 years. They are last year's President's Award winner for Carrier. That's a hard accolade to earn. They've earned it many years. They do a great, great amount of work. Um, in the community and it's a pleasure to work with guys like that to me it's very surprising that you know a software app i think they bought it maybe 2017 and they've been in business for 35 years could be the best investment he ever did for his business but that's the kind of transformation that we're seeing among our customer base but this is our checklist and guide so this is available on our website if you take a picture of that scan me button on your phone you can get a link to our website or just google sales builder pro you'll find us on the left is the 10 point checklist of things you should do, in our opinion, based on what we hear from contractors to prepare for the sales call in the middle to conduct and finally to do the follow up. The other was intended to be a 10 page booklet to go along with that. It somehow grew to 20, 30 and then landed at 40 pages. So basically everything we know is in that booklet. Um, it's got some shout outs to some other companies as well as all the best practices we've been able to accumulate over the four or five years we've been in business with Sales Builder Pro. And uh, we'd love to schedule a demo for anybody who's interested. You can schedule that online. You can pick a time and book a demo. But in conclusion, uh, we hope we deliver on a promise of helping contractors sell more in less time, uh, get more profits on every win by eliminating those part rounds, callbacks, and rollovers, and really build a better business. And with that, I think that's my final slide. I'll wrap up and just thank everyone for your time. Great. Thank you so much, John. That was super valuable information. I love the comparison of using technology to a nail gun where it's so powerful, can streamline your business, uh, the software can, but making sure that it's all pointed in the right direction and you've got the right people behind the, the nail gun and you're using the right materials <laughs> for it. That's an absolutely great comparison. Um, awesome. Well, thank you, John, so much for your perspective.